Welcome back to the Gentleman Ultras paper review. I'm Richard Hall and we're looking through the papers on Saturday. Quite interestingly, um, we talked yesterday, not extensively, but we talked yesterday about the fact that the Italian football TV rise, would they be resolved? Uh, the bet was that it wouldn't be, that the extension would probably have to go on. Would it go to Sky Sports Italia? Would it go to DAZN? It's gone to DAZN and they did make a decision incredibly. And uh, you can see quite like this in the... Um, <laughs> Cliela della Sport. There we go. Tele Revolutione, which basically said that 16 votes in, in the nearly 14, remember, of the 20, uh, the Lagos channel has changed. But the appeals have begun from Sky Sports. Didn't uh, We knew that would happen anyway. So the rights have been sold, apparently. Well, will be sold. Um, it's been since Sky, which is since 2004. Uh, but for the next year, three years, this will be on the zone. The investments eight hundred and forty million, actually less than the previous TV uh, deal. Right, just uh, worth pointing out. There will be seven exclusive games for the zone, three for Sky. That's uh, probably what most people would have predicted. I would have thought because it still gives that idea of this is a terrestrial channel that can still have, uh, well, not terrestrial, but a, a subscribe channel. Because um, there's always a fear in Italy, and uh, especially from some of the, as we said yesterday, some of the owners. Um, more traditional Italian owners that you know people need to be able to see this product need to be able to see what's going on uh, and, and they were worried about the infrastructure for streaming uh, which is which is madness because obviously Netflix Italia is massive so it makes no sense but that's anyway that's how it went um, anyway the zone will be taking up the majority of that hopefully that means that Cilia will get a slick nice product that will can be marketed to the rest of the world whether that's the US, whether that is the United Kingdom, it's uh, hopeful. It is really hopeful. So I think that's a really big uh, push and move forward for CDR. Um, let's move on. This is interesting. It's all about Mural. Oh, Mural, sorry. Uh, from Atalanta. Saying that he possibly could go to Inter. Inter style faces, it says here. The Mural are there. Conte thinks Atalanta's striker could be an extra weapon for the Champions League. It cost approximately about 25, 30 million. Uh, this is the bit I'm not 100% a massive fan of Muriel, but there are similarities between him and the phenomenon Ronaldo. Mm. But still, he's a fantastic player. Would he be an asset to. I mean, look, you've got Lukaku, you've got Latoura Martinez. I think the worry for this for me is that, you know, you look at Sebastiano uh, Esposito, who. Will be coming back next year. Will this mean that he'll end up getting uh, pushed out to Sam? Will Inter use another lose another fantastic youth team player? Who knows? Um, so that's going to be interesting. <clears throat> so that's um, quite an interesting one, really, because I, you know, will it happen? I mean, Atalanta surely aren't going to want to part company with him at all. Um, so there's also a little update on the Lazio situation we talked about yesterday. Carlo de la Sport says Lazio are now safe with Tito suspended seven months, but the first sentence on the swab case will mean there's no sanctions for the club. So that's just an update on yesterday. There's also talk of the under 21s that they're, they're going to gamble it all tonight against Spain. It's quite an interesting one here. Uh, that was quite a good read actually, and the fact that that game really should be tuned into tonight because the under 21s. I think I think in Italy there's just so much hope at the moment with not just the main national team, but it's one of the as we I think we talked about this yesterday. It's one of the few things that really, really uh, galvanises everyone. Now this is interesting in in Tutu sports. You can see maybe there, yeah, Di Bali, yeah. Okay. Well, there was so much talk uh, yesterday in the fact of Di Bali being one of the players that may be on his way out. Um, from Juventus and obviously linking to like Tottenham Arsenal I think we mentioned Inter as well which was probably an odd one uh, that's all gone away quite quickly but it's that sort of time of the year where people start to talk about to start looking at the summer and think about transfers um, but here it says here that he's um, looking for the derby and that Perlo is now potentially um, accelerating his recovery and aims to have him on the pitch against Torino on April the 3rd I mean, it is it is a story in a sense, isn't it? You can quite imagine the fact of if if you can get someone back, is if Dybala can come back and, and have a connection, whether it's with Ronaldo or, or actually on his own, because the, 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 even before Ronaldo came, he was the difference maker. Um, and it's almost a shame that you know overshadows probably the word, I suppose. 
So that's quite an interesting one as well because I think that you know, Perlo Juventus from their point of view, I can completely understand that they want to come back and hit that derby hard. They need to, and Torino are in such poor form in a sense, and they've been so disappointing that you know th- that it really is a quite a poignant moment if they can come back and, and win the derby della Mole. Uh, it will be good. So that's basically it. There is also again. Um, just an interesting little one in Crayola de la Sport that uh, talks about that um, Cristiano Ronaldo and Ibrahimovic are both protagonists with their international team but their club futures are uncertain obviously we've talked about that before with Ronaldo because obviously with Perlo in the situation that is we know that we've talked about our, our Juventus 2 Ronaldo centric etc etc you'll have read that anywhere a million times before uh, and Ibra he wants to his cryptic words that he wants to go out on top um, but then he sort of says, well, look, you know, if I'm playing for Milan and doing what I'm doing, I am on top. Interestingly, this shirt, sorry about the inter perspective for, for me, but um, you can't not have this shirt. Uh, Van Basten, Hullet, Rijkaard, Baresi, Maldini, could keep going on and on and on and on, but it's it's an absolute classic. So, yeah, just shirt update while we're there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it from us. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Sunday's paper's always bigger, always better. So, uh, yeah. Me, it's Jeff for now.